we we're live. Hey guys, what's <laughs> up? Hey guys, what's up? Give everybody a chance to come in though. Hey guys, what's up? This is C Miller with WKRP Live TV, and we have a, as I said before, awesome guest on the show. Actress, I want to make sure I pronounce it right, Miss Janae Michelle. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. That is so great, man. I, I I want you guys to share, share, and like. Uh, uh, we just had a, had a little technical difficulties, but hey, God works it out. You know, everything happens for a reason. God's mm -hmm. still in charge, mm -hmm. Mr. Nate. Yeah. First off, let me get into it by saying thank you so much for taking our time for coming on the show. It's my pleasure. With us. Thank you my so pleasure. much. And also, man, I I, I just want to say, you know, uh. The character that you play on, gotta say, on the Oval, the uh, the grandmother, she's very spicy. I mean, you played, <laughs> girl, you played that, you did that thing. <laughs> you hear me? You know, I'm I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm like, wow. My, even my wife was saying, okay, oh boy, she she, but to see now, she like, oh wow, she doesn't look like the character. She, how like, she like so sweet? I like, yeah. I said, it's just acting. I'm like, it's just acting, baby. It's just acting. <laughs> Yeah, it is just acting. And again, like I said, thank you so much. And I want to go to, but I, before I go there with uh, about how you did with uh, the over and everything, I got to say you have done more in movies and in different thing acting genre than many people might know. I didn't know you, mm -hmm. you came on like you were saying, the uh, Bewitched, The Heat of the Night, uh, Blackula, like a show I used to like about Dracula. For those that don't know, okay, <laughs> the Black Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and Sanford and Son. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> and there's a story behind that, but I don't know if you want to go there. You know, I'm about. fine. I'm an open book, darling. I'm okay, open book. that's that's what's up. That it, is what yeah. what's up. What, I told you if you read the uh, M I M B D, it's more than yeah. you want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. It's more than true. you want to know. But I like to ask everybody before I put them on the spot like that. You know, some people just go for it, but I like to get your permission. You know, make you feel comfortable as you possibly can. On the I'm show. comfortable. Whatever you want to know, just ask me. That all right, Sanford and Son. Let's go there. Sanford That's one of my <laughs> favorite shows. That was my <laughs> that was my favorite show. We're gonna get to the oval, guys. We're gonna get to yeah, okay. Sanford, Sanford and Son. Son. Yeah. How did that come by? You know, because I'm I'm a great fan of Sanford and Son with Red Fox, Fox and Demon Wilson. I mean, a great show. Tell me how it started with you from appearing on the show, and tell me who you played. I'm sorry, the librarian on the show, the librarian. I played Sandra, the art critic. The art I critic. Did okay. The the show called uh, Tower Power. Okay. That's where he built the big pile of junk because, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm an art critic. They came to the museum. He saw assemblage art and he thought, well, I can do that. So he went back. Yeah. <laughs> he went back to his yard and he started piling up all kinds of stuff that he put together and made a tall tower. And he thought it was assemblage art. And That's then right. I went to visit DeMond, uh, his mm -hmm. son, uh, and and he asked me what I thought of it. And uh, so I had to break his heart. I really did, you know. Wow. Uh, <laughs> had to tell, and he and let me tell you, when you did, he tore it down. <laughs> Fred yes, tore it did. down, man. Yes, he did. Yes, <laughs> he did. That, that is so that is, that he is so was so awesome. gracious. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Red Fox is a very... He's known for that mouth. He's known for that. Yes, the potty mouth. mouth. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. uh, but he's quite an artist. And uh, when we would go to rehearsals, he really yeah. didn't come to the first few rehearsals because he likes okay. everything to be fresh. Yeah. So he had the white producer reading his lines. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> for, for okay. The rehearsals, you know. And then yeah. the day before the show, he would come in. So that's when I first met him. Okay. And he has a way of verbally attacking his his guest artist. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? oh, yeah. So he did his mouth thing and went blah, 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 with some dirty words and stuff. And yeah. I didn't think about it. I turned on a dime and I delivered them back to him. And he said, oh, I like that little Spanish lady. <laughs> no, look out. You got spice. You were afraid. <laughs> I didn't let him get away with anything, and he loved it that I didn't let him get away with anything, you know? Awesome. 
that yeah. that is that is awesome, man. I I love friends, uh, Sanford and Son, Red Fox. As of growing as a kid, that was me and one of my friend guy in school. Leon favorite show. Yeah. We were always act like Fred and, and that walk and that. <laughs> I, I tell you what, though. Um, yeah. Uh, when I when I was in the middle middle of finishing the show before we 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 uh, did it for a live audience, he he called me aside and he said, uh, Miss Michelle, he says I've got a boxer who's boxing tonight, would you be my guest and, you know, yeah. and, and let me escort you to the box? I said, yeah, one minute, let me call my husband. Okay. <laughs> let me ask my husband. That's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> In Hollywood, they like to pair you off with bigger stars when you're coming up, you see. Yeah. And they like you to be seen, and that gets your name in the in the papers and everything. So okay. I called my husband, being in the industry, he understands how that works, you know. Yeah. So um, he said, certainly. So he came and he took me to dinner. Absolutely, absolute gentleman. Yeah. Absolute gentleman. Didn't know hanky-panky, no anything. He just wanted a pretty lady on his arm for his fight. We yeah. went to the fight. And as we were getting out of the car, uh, a derelict type person came up to him and said, hey, Red, hey, Red, can you, can, you, can you give me a little something? Can you give me a little something? He whipped yeah. him a $100 bill. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he's very generous. He was very kind. He was a gentleman. And he was dressed like a million dollars. Yes, sir. I mean, he was cleaner than the Board of Health. Watch out. Sugar <laughs> shot. <laughs> it really looked wonderful. Wonderful. That, a beautiful gray suit. He was wonderful. That is that is awesome, man. And, and like I said, your acting has been... Let me ask you something. You started at 16, you were telling me. Let I me, started at 16. Was it your dream to be an actress? Or is it just something that you just, I want to say, was, fell into? It was my dream to be a dancer. Wow. Uh, okay. We, in my neighborhood, we were kind of poor. You know, yeah. my, my family was working class. My father was a barber. My mother was a beautician. They owned their own businesses. Yeah. But we couldn't afford a television at that time. Wow. And the neighbor down the street had a television, invited me over, and I saw the um, Ed Sullivan show. And I saw okay. all this singing and dancing, and I was smitten. I said, that's what I want to do. So yeah. then I decided I would become a dancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went back home, and I said, Mom, I want to become a dancer. Well, you got to take me to get some training. And I lived in, I was raised in a segregated New Orleans. Yeah. You see, back there then, um, I went to uh, the minority school and I didn't see what I saw on, on Ed Sullivan's show. You know, yeah. so I, had, I had been uh, in school operettas and I had had to go buy my, my leotards and my, my, my shoes from a white, you know, uh, a, a company. And yeah. I remember they had their daughter's pictures all over the walls. They were ballerinas. So I called and I asked, I said, where do your daughter study? So of course I went there and they said, we can't take you because you're, not the right color. You know. No. Yeah. No way. I, I, no way. I could not go to the school. So I bought a book from them and I put it on the floor. Yeah. And I tried to mimic all of the positions that I saw. So I taught myself to dance. And I started volunteering for everything in the schools. The principal uh, would ask me to come and choreograph stuff. And I became very popular. And I was always the star dancer. All right. But when we moved to California, I saw that they were auditioning people for specialty act dancers for the, yeah. uh, for the, um, uh, what is it, for the Rene Block and for Perez Prados in Las Vegas. So I drove about an hour and a half from Los Angeles okay. and I went to audition and they were 50 trained ballerinas. Wow. And I, thought, I am in deep trouble. Wow. <laughs> so I prayed. I prayed, but I was smart enough to let all 50 of those ladies audition first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So wow. then I, uh, the guy said, well, ma'am, are you ready yet? Something's happening with this, uh, this, this Devon, there's somebody else on here besides me. There's something across the screen. Oh no, that's, that's one of the people, one of the viewers saying beautiful lady. They're calling uh you. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. That's very sweet. Miss so, Lucille. All right. Hi, Lucille. So I auditioned <laughs> after the 50 audition. Yeah. I, uh, I, he said, ma'am, do you have your music? I said, yes. I gave him the music. I got in the middle of this floor. I closed my eyes. And I said, okay, God, it's you yeah. and me. 
because that was 50 trained ballerinas and I trained myself how to dance, right? Yeah. So I danced my heart out. And Come when I now. finished, uh, the guy says, I said, well, uh, when are you going to make a decision? He said, I made my decision. I said, you made your decision? Well, would you invite me back? He said, I choose you. I said, you yeah. choose me over 50 trained ballerinas? He said, yeah, that was easy. What wow. they do, I can teach you. Come what on now. you do, I yeah. can teach them. Come now, on that's now. God at work, baby. That's, that's God. God. You better say work. that now. You know what I'm saying to you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Britt, thank you so much. Thank you so much for chiming <laughs> in. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, man. that. that that's so right. Fun. That is God. Excuse me, at work, and, and he, I see how God has been working in your life as well as you've been an entrepreneur as well. And man, I, I got, I'm going to bring it now up to speed the oval. How did that come about <laughs> with Mr. T.P. Tyler Perry? Oh. Tyler? Well, <laughs> I tell you what, yes. uh, they sent a script out. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. And awesome. I thought when I read some of the lines, especially when I got to the one where she told them, you know, somebody's going to die. She said, somebody <laughs> has to die. You know, I thought, Whoa, I know this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know this lady. <laughs> yeah. So I did, the, I did the piece and the producer saw it first. Yeah. And he saw all the people who auditioned and he said, I'm telling you, you just blew it out of the water. He said, I took it into Terry personally. I said, you got to hire this lady. He said, Come on now. She is, she is, uh, uh, what was my name? <laughs> <Your name? laughs> forget, whatever the character's name was. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the lady. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. yeah the grandmother. She, yeah. yeah she is, that's who she is. So Tyler looked at it and he thought, mm, I'm going to be honest with you. He said, well, you think so? He said, I'm telling you, that's her. That, that's her. And awesome. so uh, when I finally got to um, got the job, yeah. I, and I'm studying these lines because this is the first time I'm going to meet Tyler, and and I know that he's a stickler, you know, and he yeah. he's very fast. You're going to do it the first time, you're going to do it the second time, and if you don't get it the first and second time, whatever's on there is what's going to happen. There he is. He's spending no time, you know. Everybody yeah. else shoots a movie in eight months; he shoots one in eight weeks. Good. So Tyler don't waste no time; he keeps it moving. Yeah. So uh, I'm sitting in my uh, in my in the, the makeup chair and I'm reading my lines and I'm studying and makeup artist looks down at my script. She said, mm -hmm. that's not the scene you're doing. Mm. I said, what, what do you mean? This is the only scene I have. She said, you don't have a script. I said, no, this is the only scene I have. She yeah. said, the scene that you're doing is in a restaurant and you're top of the morning. I said, what do you mean by in an hour? You're going to be shooting. I, I, she said, I'll get you a script. She gets me a script, and I'm sitting wow. there trying to learn seven pages. <laughs> seven pages seven I'm going to shoot in an hour. And I thought, oh, God. Only God. Wow. It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm pretty up in age now. The last time I learned seven, <laughs> last time I learned seven pages in the makeup chair. You know, I was like 28 years old, baby. This is a 76-year-old lady we're discussing here. Come so, on now. But so, you look good. That's a blessing. That's look, a blessing. Let me tell you, only God. I live, I live by my spirit. I try to eat right. I exercise. You know, I just, but anyway, so I'm sitting there and I'm trying to learn the lines. It's hard for you to read lines, looking, learn your lines, and then you can see the other person's lines. So you don't yeah. know if you know it or not. Yeah. yeah. So they said, oh, no, Tyler, listen to this. Tyler has readers for you. Hmm. I said, readers, you better get me a reader. <laughs> <laughs> so they brought another person in. And yeah. All I had to do was try to learn my lines. And that person would read the other person's lines. Uh, I said, well, let me explain to you how I work. Okay. We do it over and over and over again. If I make a mistake, we start all over until I get it right. Okay. So we yeah. did that. So by the time I'm finished with the with the uh, hair, the girl says, "Oh, you got this." I say, "Look, I don't got this <laughs> until no. I tell you I got this." Okay. All so right. The makeup. <laughs> Same thing. I'm doing the lines with her, and the makeup yeah. artist says, "Oh, you got this." I said, "Let me explain to you that I don't got this unless I say I got this." Okay? Watch out now. So, and the uh, grandma now, coming out. Now it's, time to go, <laughs> now it's time to go to wardrobe. So the girl walks yeah. in the wardrobe and she's reading lines with me. Well, I did it three times perfectly. 
And awesome. at, at the moment, they I did it three times perfectly. Let's show you how God works. The mm -hmm. AD walks in and says, we're ready for you, Miss Michelle. I tell the reader, I said, darling, what I need you to do is go stand in that corner over there and talk to God and mm -hmm. tell God, I need to get this man's line. <laughs> <laughs> right now, tell him let me let me let me baffle him beyond his wildest dreams. My lord, my goodness, yeah. <laughs> so he went in the corner to pray, and I went to say good morning, Mr. Tyler. You know, he said, yeah. "I understand you're from New Orleans." I said, "Yes, just like you. You know, he's from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, he used to sleep in his car, and now he's a billionaire." Yes, ma'am. Yes, Hello, ma right out, in man. the dark. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, right. so. Mm -hmm. He, I go to sit down. Now, I have not met any of these people I'm working with. I hadn't, wow. met, I hadn't met my daughter. I hadn't mm. met my two grandchildren. I'm doing a scene that I didn't know I had. And I'm sitting <laughs> there. So and when sad. they walk in, I'm being very uh, charming, right? Mm -hmm. So Tyler does like this. He said, come here. So I walk over to him. He said, this is a very uncomfortable scene. He yeah. says, I don't want you being charming. He says... You're the queen bee. You don't lean over to talk to anybody. Everything comes to you. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> I, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> no. My so, goodness. Anyway, he didn't want me trying to get to know him, be charming, nothing. So I thought, okay. So I said, can we run these lines? So they said, yes, we ran the lines. And that's the scene he chose to run on his, on his uh, the web. Yeah. For the entire week. And that's wow. how people started to chime in. In. The in. Yes. Wow. So it worked out very well. It, it did, because let me tell you, I said, <laughs> ooh, grandma is spicy. Well, my <laughs> wife used to be watching, and I had watched, I'm like, ooh, ooh, especially the plane ride. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that took the cake. That's oh. the case. You got, I mean, let me tell you something. You got, you, you worked that. Y'all worked that. <laughs> It felt good when we were shooting it. It felt okay. good. The kids worked good. The timing was good. The um, the the uh, exchange between the actors were good. The vibration was good. And that was a very small space. See wow. that little plane? That was a fake yeah. plane. And it was yeah. a very small space. And you sit in two seats here. And Tyler is, is in his cameras in the seats opposite you. You wow. know, yeah, it's very small space, you know. So let me ask you something. How many takes did it take for you guys to do that scene? You know, Tyler ain't going to give it for one or two. I know. That's why yeah. I had to ask. That's why I had yeah. to ask. So for me, it was one take for each one. And wow. then when they turn the camera around, then you say your line's off camera mm -hmm. to the other actor. But it was one take. All of that. That is that is awesome. That yeah. my God, that that yeah. is awesome. And, and my my thing is, in the world that they, they killed you. Oh, but I'm like, she's coming back. Everybody said back. that. You didn't see her dead. You know, you know she's. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Dead. That's right. That is right. That is correct. So and, everybody and, and, says she's coming back. Mm -hmm. you know, we never saw her dead. She's too smart to let him kill her. She probably just act like she was dead. And I that's know, right. I, from your lips to God, from your mouth to God's ears, okay? <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I haven't heard from Tyler yet. <laughs> I'm quite sure you will. You will. I know you Everybody will. Everybody says that. Everybody you will. says that. I'm like, believing so. I'm believing you will because let me tell you, you worked that part. You, you, you did you your thing. My they goodness. Two, two million people chimed in and told them how much they hated him killing me. Yeah, so I said yeah. to somebody just last week, I said, two million people. Can you imagine that? He said, no, you haven't looked at it lately. He said, it's three million. You know? He said, they want you back and they're trying to get him to bring you back. So wow. we'll see. We'll yeah, see. We, we will. And OK, and what's what what is next for Miss Michelle uh, on your venue? What have you been doing? I mean, what's what what's next with you right now? Is there any books, any more plays? Let, let us know. Let well, us know. I have, minds want to know. All of my friends have mm -hmm. been trying to get me to write my life story. Wow, that would be awesome. You know, there's so many stories in me. They said, "Girl, you got you got to put this stuff in a book." True. I don't view myself as a writer. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I yeah. guess when I when I get into it, you know, it'll it'll come. But that's the next big thing. But awesome. I have a small film, uh, independent that I it's called Boo Hag. I'm not the Boo Hag. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. not, I could put him probably would well been him the boo hag, but I'm not the boo hag. But I play mm -hmm. uh, someone's mother in that, and it's 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 um it's a co-starring role. But um so that okay. is coming out, and awesome. um, so it, I guess at this time I'm I'm really just auditioning for stuff yeah. and trying to find the right right you know project and uh trying to talk myself into st start writing this book. It's all in awesome. my head. <laughs> That's right. all right. That's mm -hmm. all right. But that's how you. That's how it starts. You know exactly. And, and exactly. I, I know it'll be a bestseller because man, you've done a lot of work with a lot of people, famous yeah. people. So I know it'll. And also, one one of my friends, I want to give a shout out to Ronald, the artist. Tell me, tell me oh, hi. Oh, you know Ronald. What? That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's boy. That's my too. boy. Yeah, that's how we met. That's right. That's, that's right. How we met. You talk about yeah. a talented man. My Watch God. Out. Ne and he, there's another person, never took art a day in his life. Mm -hmm. And he does sculptures. He does oil paintings. He does watercolors. He does the sketches. Yes, he, does he does everything. His, 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 his sculptures are so wonderful. They look like they're breathing. Yeah, they do. It looks they like, look he, like he they're does, breathing. Puts life into whatever he does. So much life in it. So Mr. much. Life. Yeah, yeah, he does. And I got to get him on the show. We were talking to him like he's coming as well because I'm like, most people may not know, but they got to know, man, what a great artist. Oh. His, his artwork speaks life. You're it right. does. It does. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it, it's just, he's phenomenal. I, you, you don't have enough words to describe this incredible, talented man. And he's so sweet. He's so humble. humble. Yeah. He's so humble. He's so humble. You know, yes, and, and God uses, he said his mama used to slap his hands. You know, and try to stop him from <laughs> yeah. catching and everything but as a kid. But he, it was in him. He, it's it was in him. him. That's the gift of God. It was yeah. in him. And when God gives you a gift, honey, who could take it away from you? That's you right. Know? You better say that. You better Absolutely. Say that. I live by my spirit. I live awesome. by my spirit. That, that's a blessing. Is anything else you want to say before? Uh, any shout outs you want to give or uh, whatever? You, you've got the floor. I want to shout out to Miss Devon uh, Randolph who got us on this. Video. Yes, yes. Shout out to you, Miss Devon. Yes. <laughs> you did your thing. She's a she's a major, major, major film star these days. She's got two or three major roles and major films that are coming out soon. Awesome. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her to have you interview her so she can tell you her story because she's love an you. amazing woman, amazing talent. Not awesome. only that, is she's an opera singer. She's a trained. No. Oh yeah, she she does it. She all. got lungs on her. Oh, she she got lungs. She plays piano. <laughs> she plays instruments. She sings. You know, she's she's amazing. She's awesome. she's a she's a trip. What they call a triple threat. Well, uh, what's that way. now? I yeah. Pull the tune. I can sing Happy Birthday and Amazing Grace. <laughs> okay. Hey, let me ask you a question though. Do Why? you still dance? You still do you still salsa or do you dance? <laughs> You know what? I haven't. I've been doing jazzercise, and I okay. Could, but before I was doing jazzercise, make you laugh. I was doing cross training, mm -hmm. and uh, it was good because of strength and it's everything. But yeah. in ninety-five degree weather Ooh. in New Orleans at it's seventy, high. the trainer yeah. wanted me to run up a small hill front ways and run down backwards. You know. Oh and my! I oh said, my! Sweetie. <laughs> I'm 70 years old, baby. But he used to he used to use me. Used to me. Are you are you gonna let Miss Michelle? You gonna let Miss Michelle outdo you? The guys take yeah. one look at me like, yes, <laughs> yes. When I when I worked, I worked, you know. But at that point, 95 degree weather. I'm 70 years old. You can't ask me to do that. I ain't crazy. My mama didn't raise no fools. I feel you. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to even do that. <laughs> so I went to take jazzercise, but awesome. I didn't like it because it wasn't enough, you know, no strength training, no, you yeah. know, it wasn't enough. So I start this week with the doctor's uh, uh, approval because mm -hmm. I haven't done anything, no exercise since COVID. Okay. You All know? Right. Well, a lot so, of us, I haven't either. Yeah. So yeah. Anybody you know? yourself. Got gotcha, you. I got you, though. Yeah. You start, you try to put on them high heel shoes your wife and I wear, and mm -hmm. them legs don't want to support them. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, no, something is radically wrong here. I need to go back to my exercise. 
<laughs> so okay. so I'll be back. I'm going to be taking Pilates training starting next week. That's awesome. That is That's awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Well, let me just say this. I am so thrilled to have you on. It's been a blessing. And I I, I pray for your endeavors. And uh-huh. also you coming back to the Oval. That would be, that would be <laughs> awesome. And I, I want to get you back again because we're going to talk about that. And when you get back on the Oval, we're going to be like, ah, right, see, I told you. they right <laughs> All right. From your lips to God's ears, darling. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with your audience. Oh, man, you are such a lovely spirit. You are oh, such God a lovely you. spirit. God and I thank God you. for your humble. You, yeah. Like you were saying with Ron, I thank God for your humbleness. You're a very humble lady. Well, and I God, just thank you. I, I, like I tell everybody, I don't know, no, I don't know nothing, mm-hmm. and I can prove it. <laughs> yeah. God, it's all God. It's I hear you. And I want to give a shout out. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to my wife. Who's, who's That's my biggest, my biggest backer, my biggest friend. She's always pushed me to keep on doing things. She plays, she plays and she sings as well. And God has given her great talent. And I yeah. thank the Lord for her. Yeah. And and I thank you so much again. And we're going to get, I want to have your daughter on the show and as well as the song you were telling me about. So, and um, like I said, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to stay in touch because you are a great friend and great hilarious boy, I tell you. And, and that's a blessing because, you know, there's so much going on. People aren't laughing anymore. Yeah, you got to you know, laugh. That, you even got to yeah. laugh at yourself. That's right. <laughs> you know, that's right. They're, they're letting life beat them down, you know? Yeah. Look, I got more years behind me. Than Come on now. In front of me. Come so on now. It's live, laugh, and love and stay in spirit. Amen. And surround yourself with people who are going to un- uplift you. Come on you know, now. And not tear you down. You know, that's life right. is too short for that. You know, let them go. That's <laughs> let right. Go. Let go, let God. Let go and let go. Right. Let God. There it is. There it, it is. is. All let right. Go let God, baby. Well, Amen. Ms. Amen. <laughs> Ms. Janae Michelle, it's been a pleasure. And you keep having that beautiful spirit and keep doing what God has called you to do. Thank I just want to say we at WKRP love you and thank you again so much for coming on. God bless you. And God, God bless, bless all you your folk. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, man. That was that was just awesome. And, and, and you know, hey, guys, God God is good. That was, so, that was just awesome to have her on. She is a blessing and a true... Uh, I, I want to say anointed woman that does his, what God has called her to do. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to the c Miller with WKRP Live. And tomorrow we have Miss Shaquana on that will be our man uh, from Shaquana, Miss Shaquana and the children of God. She'll be on. And guys, y'all have a blessed day. Keep doing what God's called you to do. Like she said, smile. We got to have that smile because so many things are going on in people's lives. But trust God. He'll always